Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Twitch streaming on the Xbox One and show you what you have to do in order to get it all set up and running correctly. So the first thing that you have to do is make sure you have the Twitch app and the update that you need in order to enable broadcasting. Now if you're like me, the broadcasting bit of it was automatically applied. I keep my Xbox in standby mode, so I'd imagine that when I was just sitting around doing nothing, it downloaded and applied the update, and when I turned it on, everything was already there. But if you do not keep yours in standby mode, or if you do not have the app at all, then it's pretty easy to get. All you have to do is go up to the top of the screen where you see pins and home and store, and go over to the store and go to apps. And this is going to show you all of the apps that are currently available for the Xbox One. So just scroll on over to the popular app section and go down to these three little dots at the bottom. And then when you click on that, you'll see some of the most popular apps. And here Twitch is right here. Now yours may not be the third option, but it's going to be somewhere on this screen because Twitch is a very popular app and will be for quite some time. So you just click on that and then... You just download it. Now there are a few things that you have to do to make sure that you're set up for broadcasting. One, you have to have a Twitch TV account and that's free. So you just go to twitch.tv and sign up for it. Once you do that and you launch the app that has the update applied to it, then you're going to need to go down to broadcast. Now I've already done this so what you see here may not be exactly what what um, what you're going to see when you set yours up for the first time but just know it's going to give you a special code that you would have to enter on twitch.tv slash activate and that is going to link your twitch account and your xbox live gamer tag together and when you do that it will make it so that every time you broadcast from your xbox one it'll go to that corresponding twitch account we are going to back out of this for just one minute because we have to do something else as well. Let me just unsnap. And we're going to have to go into settings because there are some things that you need to have checked off in your settings menu in order to get everything to work properly. So the first thing that we're going to do from settings is go to privacy and online safety. And this is where you set up all of the bits in case you if you have like a younger person in the house and you want to make sure that a lot of their information and things that they do are private so that the entire world can't see this is where you set that stuff up but chances are you probably haven't really come to here so what you need to do is go down to the custom menu and make sure that some things are checked off first thing that you have to do is make sure that everyone can see that you're online so it says decide who can see you um, what you're doing online and if you're available to play you have to make sure that that's selected for everybody and some of the other very important parts that you need to have checked off is scroll down the list and you'll see these options for broadcast gameplay that has to be set to allow. You can allow it or you can block it. But if you want to stream, make sure that that's set to allow. Make sure that share content made using Connect. Make sure that that's set to allow because you're going to be using the Xbox. Um, you're going to be using Connect. You, you, if you want, you can use Connect to stream. And if you do, then make sure that that's set to allow. And you can just take a look at these other settings the way that I just have them set up by default. And that will, that will help you out there. So once you have all of those set, there's something else that you have to do if you want to use Connect for your microphone or if you want to use your Connect to broadcast your face when you're streaming to Twitch. You're going to have to go into the Connect settings here. Prepare to see me. So Connect is on by default, but or off, yes, on by default, but you can also turn it off. But when you turn it on, you'll see what I see. You'll see me in my awesome and very comfortable pajama pants because it's 12 o'clock in the morning and I just don't care. And you can select the option for using the Connect microphone to chat. You don't have to do that, but you can do that. But yeah, just make sure that if you want to use Connect for video or if you want to use it for 
audio purposes that those are turned on. And then once you do that, you should be good to go because everything is set up the way that it's supposed to be set up. So let's say that you actually want to start broadcasting a game. You can use the connect the connect command to say it, it's probably going to respond Xbox broadcast. Good. It didn't hear me. So you can say that to start broadcasting, but you can only broadcast games. You can't broadcast YouTube. You can't broadcast what you're showing on television. You can't broadcast movies. It's just games. And before the whole thing is going to work, you actually have to be playing a game. The game has to be launched. So we're going to take a look at Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, you know, just briefly to show you how how the Twitch streaming is going to work. Once you're done, you can use the connect connect com, <laughs> the connect command to say Xbox broadcast. Or if you don't want to do that, or if Connect is just ignoring you, then you can just snap the Twitch app. So go back to the dashboard, go to Snap, go to Twitch, and here are all the options for Twitch. You can go down to broadcast. And this is the first broadcast menu. Now up here, it's going to show you on the top right there on the snap screen. That's what the people who are watching you are, are going to see. I haven't started broadcasting yet, but what I can do is I can go down to the settings. If I want to fine tune some things, we can name it whatever we want. That's tasteful. And we can go to settings and we can check things out we can check out the video camera preview we can enable connect and check out the video camera preview you see i'm on the lower right hand corner of the screen but i can also put myself in the upper left i can put myself in the lower left i can put myself in the upper right and i can put myself in the lower right but i don't have to enable connect if i don't want to if i don't want anyone to see me if you got private stuff going on in the background, you get things you don't want people to see, or you know, just sometimes if your place is not as neat as you would want it to be when people are looking at it, you can just turn connect off. There's no shame in it. We've all been there. And you can also choose to enable the microphone. You don't have to use the microphone with connect. You can use the official Xbox One headset, or if you have a headset that you already have that you've been using that you're really happy with then you'll have to go out and buy the xbox one stereo headset adapter that's about 25 bucks and once you connect that to your controller then you'll be able to use your regular headset through the um, 3.5 millimeter jack that that provides um and also you can use the regular mono chat headset that came with the Xbox One. But if you do use the Kinect microphone, just know that because Kinect is likely to be further away from you, you're not going to sound as close as, for example, I sound to this microphone. Instead, and I'm not too sure if you heard that, but because it's further away, you're going to sound further away. But one tip that you can do is you can move Kinect closer to you if you can, if the if the cord will reach you from where you are without getting too too much in the way, the closer the camera is to you, the the better that you will sound. And also, there's no zooming option with Connect, so you cannot make the camera get closer to you without actually moving the camera. What you're going to have to do is, if you have a tripod, you can just mount Connect onto that tripod and bring it closer to you, or you can just get creative, get like a nightstand or a stool or something, and put Connect on that, bring it closer to you, stack it up on some books, get it at eye level, whatever you need to do if you want to have a more, if you want to have a closer experience instead of that wide angle that Connect usually provides. All right. So anyway, also you see here broadcast settings. Uh, it'll automatically look at your connection, scan it, and give you the recommended streaming setting. So for me, it's 2500 kbps, but you can also choose a lower setting. You can choose high at 2000, medium at 1400, and low at 800. And you can also choose to get a new recommendation if you just want to refresh things. Maybe you move some things around. Maybe you got a new, a new router, new internet service, something. And you can just get a recommendation from there. You also see your account username at the bottom, as well as your Twitch channel URL in case you want to tell people about it. 
So when you start streaming, you will see the chat on the right hand side of the screen. You don't need to have that. You can just play in full screen. I am just going to start a broadcast right now, a total test broadcast. And it see it says that I'm live and that there is no one currently looking at me right now. Let's hope it stays that way because I'm not going to actually play the game. And you can still go into the settings and you can still play around with the same options that you had before. When you if you don't want things to be snapped like this, you can just go back to your home screen. And you can just do unsnap. You unsnap it, go back to the game, and it'll tell you right there at the bottom that you're broadcasting, but you have no viewers. So you can play in full screen if you want. But if you want to have the chat on screen, you still want to have access to all your settings and everything, you can just snap Twitch again. And there you go. So I can just choose to play the game. And if for any reason I need to temporarily walk away from it, I can't. Um, I need to talk to somebody. I need to check on some other things. You know, you can just hit the guide button and then you can just go back to your home screen and just do the things that you want to do. And then the people in Twitch will instead not see what you're doing. Instead, they'll see this little splash screen that shows like a little astronaut and a kitty cat and basically like a, a fantasy living room setting. That's the thing that they will see instead of seeing your business. So whenever you pause the stream, just like the PlayStation 4 version, uh, that's what you're going to see. I can't show you that necessarily because um, I'm the one broadcasting, but if you were watching me on Twitch, that's what you would see. So I can just go ahead and stop the broadcast. It'll say thank you, you know, would you want to do it again or you want to go home? You can do whatever you want from there. And if you just want to start looking at some regular Twitch stuff, you know, then you can just do that. You can just say, all right, I'm just going to go to full screen and, you know, I'm just going to check out some more regular content on Twitch. So, yeah, that's how you broadcast from the Xbox One on Twitch. Other cool thing that's somewhat unrelated but somewhat related is um, with this new update, you can now see uh, the people that you're following when they're broadcasting. So there's two people that I follow right now, and they're broadcasting, so I can immediately go to them without having to search. And that's fantastic because I got tired of doing that. So when you're signed into the app, everyone that you follow, when they start broadcasting, you'll have the option to immediately go check them out. And you can also follow people, you know, if you want. I can go to Xbox right now who are having, uh, they're streaming something about Titanfall. And I can just follow the channel right now, you know, and I'm done. And I can just leave up out of that. And whenever... Xbox starts streaming again, they will pop up right there. And no, I do not want to look at True TV Connect. You see, that's just what Connect does, is always listening. But yeah, anyway, that's streaming. Stop listening. It's not, now it doesn't want to listen. That's streaming on the Xbox One. Uh, Connect is optional. And yeah, if you have uh, if you got any problems or anything like that, Twitch TV has a very good trouble sh troubleshooting page up on their website uh, and that will help alleviate some problems because sometimes it can be just as simple as restarting your console and uh, deleting the Twitch app, reinstalling it, you know, just basic things like that. Or maybe things can have to get a little bit more in depth in order for you to fix it. That's basically what you'll have to do. If you've never touched the settings in your Xbox, then chances are you will not have to do it now. This is just a quick run through to show you how it all works. So thanks a whole bunch for checking this out. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll see you later.